warm welcome for Theodora. Fear. 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 What is it? We all have fear at one stage of life or the other. It's this negative emotion that makes you think something or someone is dangerous. There is a negative, there's a consequence attached to a particular course of action. And you must not take that step or it's going to fall apart. Napoleon Hill identified six forms of fear that affect us as humans. But I want to deal with two and hopefully equip you on how to counter those emotions when you get them. The first one is criticism. I perceive criticism as another form of bullying because they have the same impact. Paralyze your, in, your ability to do something or not to do that thing. And people who are overly criticized from a very young age end up to try so much to please people. They turn out to be people pleasers. They want to get everything right. They want to make sure it's perfect. And they forget themselves. You end up in a situation where you are targeting a rotating target with no bull's eye. Because each time you try, they move the goalpost. How do you deal with your critics? Always remember, nothing is perfect. Nobody is perfect. And the person who is asking you for perfection is not even perfect themselves. Fear, the most paralyzing emotion. I have been in situations for 10 years where I analyzed to paralysis because I just could not move. What does fear do to us? We cannot move. We don't take the positive steps that we need to take. In the last five years, I've found myself having to deal with my fear. And I've had to make three difficult decisions in my life. One was to take that bold step and come out of a very difficult, miserable, challenging relationship. I'm a better person since I made that decision. The second one, I've been in a job for 10 years. I've analyzed to paralysis. What if this happened? What if that happened? What if this happened? But over the same length of time, I've come to realize that I wasn't going anywhere. And nothing was going to change unless I change. So on the 20th of July, I gave my boss the hee-ho. I told him I'm going. The other decision that I've had to make was there's a dark patch in my life got to do with my mother and the relationship I have with my mother. A lot of people question it. And I've been wanting to share that. I feared backlash. What will happen when this comes out is a very personal story. I concluded that people will challenge me but that's fine. Whoever is going to challenge me, let them tell me that that is not my story. Let them prove to me that it did not happen. So today, apart from dealing with your critics and having the understanding that nobody is perfect, I want to give you a model that I found that helped me to put my fears in perspective. It is something by Tim Ferriss. Can I have that, please? And I printed copies of this, and some of you will have it. If you do, I, um, you can have a look at it now. Normally, when we go into businesses and we embark on a journey, we always look at the positive. Nobody goes into business thinking it's going to fail. You want to make so much money. And sometimes it doesn't quite work. So in dealing with your fears, you need to take these three simple steps. Step one is to define. Define. I was just testing you guys. I'm glad you're awake. <laughs> so you define, you prepare for it, and you prevent it. 
once you can define your fear, you are armed and equipped to deal with whatever comes out of it. And if it doesn't happen, like my father tells me, 90% of what you fear will never happen. And true, it doesn't really does happen. Step two is for you to list the benefits that you will gain from taking that step. Step three is the most important. What is the cost of inaction? For me, the cost of inaction in staying in my job was that I was in the same spot for 10 years, doing the same thing, no prospect. I kept complaining. I wasn't going anywhere. And until I actually said, hey, I'm going, I then realized that I was relieved as a person. So I hope you can use this, and I hope you're empowered by it. Thank you, Theodore. Now, let's get some empowering feedback. Who's going first? I go first. Ladies, please, because I'm first. <laughs> <laughs> so Theodora is always the one who would say to me, I hope you don't mind me sharing, Anik, I don't know what to talk about. And that was amazing. That was so solid. Like, everyone tonight is so structured. What's going on with you guys? Like, I'm impressed, like, really. Um, I really loved what you were talking about, and this is really material for you to go out, because when Theodora came to us, she's like, I want to be a motivational speaker. And I'm like, what are you going to talk about? I don't know. <laughs> but that's your topic. You know, it's really, like, I think I can see in a lot of female audiences, you know, I've, like, there are a lot of, like, even African communities. I can really see you there. And she is a lot more funny than you, you actually saw tonight. Like, a few stretches. Like, just bring your humor in more. Like, that's so you. Like, you have made me fall off my chair laughing before, you know? Like, that's what I really, really love. And obviously, the other thing I want to say, I forgot, so I hand over to Ellie and I don't know what it is today. <laughs> <laughs> I should have a drink. That might help me. <laughs> so good. So it's nice to hear something that you're passionate about come, come out a little bit. I think you could have given more attention to the key moments. You know, you deciding to address the three key things in your life is pretty big, but you just skimmed over it. So I, I had to do three things. I had to leave this abusive relationship and get chips. Uh, I left, I quit my job and had a kebab. You know, it's very casual. <laughs> do you see what I mean? It's just very casual. How you, those are key defining moments in your life. So I think you can definitely give that more importance. How I did it is on your chair. So lead us there okay. to your tool of how you actually came to these decisions and how you cope with fear. Everything was very skimmed over. So I feel now we need to start really taking us as an audience to the points you want us to remember. That's what's really important here. Uh, I don't think she's very funny at all. So yeah. <laughs> Well done. Thank you, Thank you very much.